Sorry, I think I'm here. God bless all of you who come in tonight. God bless you. It's Monday night. Miss Rogers, can you hear me out there? Timberlake, can you hear me? You hear me? Man, y'all come on through. Just a little tardy tonight. Thank y'all so much. Uh, let me just cue that up one more time and greet y'all as y'all come on through here. It's Monday night. And you got to call the preacher. You got to call the Sunday school teacher. Call the church. Remind them that the revival continues. Man, I got a few folk in the sanctuary tonight. I'm about to call y'all out here in a little bit. I need you to tag somebody. I need you to hit somebody. Salute to all of you who are gathering in your living room, in your kitchen, in your church, wherever you are participating with this study, we say grace and peace to all of you. Shay, I see you. Nashville is represented in here. Now, if you come to take a front row seat tonight, that means you're not going to be walking a lot. That means you're not going to be strolling a lot. It means you're going to be locked in. You're in a place where you can't walk a lot. If you got a front row tonight, you ain't got nothing to do. Come on. Let us know who you are. Let us know where you're listening from. Put your name and put the name of your church. Let me see who's in the cyber sanctuary. Hallelujah. Pam, thank you so much. Jenny Bush, God bless you. I see y'all coming. Loretta. Thank you so much for coming to class. I pray that you brought your Bible. I may read Mamas tonight, I don't know, but I brought my Bible. Hallelujah. Carla Davis. My God, Miami is represented here. God bless you, Carla. Barbara Warren, thank you so much. Kendall, thank you. Jean, Lisa, thank you. Bernice, I see you. Irene, thank you so much for coming tonight. I pray you got your Bibles. Laverne, God bless you. Kathy Roberts, thank you for coming to class tonight. Make sure you tag somebody. Let them know, man, the revival continues. The revival continues. So, y'all get in here. Woo! Y'all got Tiffany in Bible study tonight. My baby is in Bible study tonight. She's walking through the door. Yep. Sarah Smith, thank you so much. Mama Alabama is here. Sarah, Sarah Robinson, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Hattie Bryant. Man, Lady Bryant is here. Y'all tell Chuck I said what up. God bless you. Marilyn Griffin. Man, y'all get the Bible study. Bring your Bible. Hallelujah. The revival continues. Your worst days are behind you. I want you to know. Man, your worst days are behind you i don't even know if that's enough for you to shout about but it's the truth the worst days are behind you keep hanging out with god better days are still to come 
Man, I see y'all. Come on through. Miss Nelson, Rosa, thank you. Y'all, I got Darlene and Ann Bell in here tonight. Miss Rogers is on the front row tonight, and I'm... Hallelujah. want to thank God for Mama Faye and the crew, and... Riri and... Y'all, Mama Rogers is here tonight, and she got... got her instrument god bless y'all so i hope while you're coming in while you're reminding your cousin your auntie your brother your sons your daughters while you're reminding them that we're in bible study all over the world make yourself a part of it it's about us being better it's about not it's not about us going to heaven but it's about heaven coming to us like share tag come through let's touch the world invite the preacher preacher if you're on here salute to you brother sister invite the bishop invite the apostle invite the sunday school teacher invite the whole deacon board get in here man Cubs, I see you. Trey, I see you. Thank y'all so much. Woo! Y'all, Margarita is here. Margarita is here. Y'all, don't forget to like and share. Don't forget to share and like. Let's make sure we plant this revival everywhere we possibly can thank you so much dorothy i got your gift thank you so much You're wonderful hallelujah now mama just one round of another look and i promise i'm going uh mama says this more than i do almost another look that's what we came here to do that's right that's right. Open up your mind if you want to receive. Open up your mind if you want to receive. Jennifer, I see you. Thank you for coming tonight. Woo! Jacqueline Huff, I want to say thank you, sis. I receive your gift. Thank you. Thank you so much. Kathy, God bless you. Let's take another look. Can we do that, Darlene? You brought your Bible. Let's do it tonight. Thank you, Marguerite. Man, Marguerite has been a big help to me, y'all. Thank God for Marguerite. I promise. I'm going to leave this alone, but we just got to do this one more time. Uh, another look. Thank you so much. Tony Muhammad, I see you, man. I pray you got time to stay, man. Hug all the my nieces for me. Come on, bro. Come on, y'all. Turn it up. Y'all got to clap in here like y'all ready for devotion. Come on. Y'all, Mama Jackson is coming through the door. Mama Jackson and the Jackson family. Come on through, Curtis and Nancy. Y'all, Master Boss, that made her way. Baby! God bless you. Baby Carter here. Man, I see y'all. Don't forget to like, share, share, and like. Make sure we plant the revival. 
in as many places as we possibly can. Can we all just give God a rousing round of applause tonight? Can we do that? You even in the cyber sanctuary just clap and scream wherever you are. Right. It is a good day. Yes, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Well, say it, Mama. We shall rejoice and be glad about it. Yeah. How many of you all are glad about it? Hallelujah. The sixth day of December. Yes, Lord. God bless you. The sixth day of December. Now, y'all know what time it is, right? It is devotion time. I guess you can stay right there, baby, and we'll give you this right here. It is devotion time. Um, and um, we're going to take a script. And I think Mama has assigned Miss Rogers to read tonight. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> hallelujah. Somebody holler, read. read. Hallelujah. Miss Rogers is going to read for us tonight. And what are you going to be reading from? I will be reading from Proverbs, the third chapter, verses one through six. Proverbs. Mm -hmm. Chapter three, verses chapter three. one through six. Chapter three, verses one, one through, through six. six. Proverbs chapter three. For those of you who are in devotion tonight, the devotional script, Mama picks again. Proverbs 3, 1 through 6. And it reads. It reads. I'm sorry. All right, it reads. My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years, and your life will be satisfying. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both God and people, and you will, learn, you will earn a good reputation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. I have read you Proverbs 3, verses 1 through 6. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers and the hearers and the doers of his word. Oh, man. Mama. Hallelujah. Thank you, Miss Rogers, for the reading other scriptures I like that script I love it I love it okay. I like that script we put it right here and hallelujah that's right that's right that's exactly right huh? hallelujah now listen uh, Miss Rogers has given us our devotional script and um, man I was almost going to ask Brooklyn what kind of church she was going to have today but she had another kind of request she had a Bible study subject Brooklyn wants us to someday talk about the Holy Ghost and I promise we're going to pin that to the wall and talk about the Holy Ghost one day for Brooklyn's sake. Make sure we keep Brooklyn's father in prayer. Amen. Amen. Let's Amen. keep Lorenzo in prayer. Um, and who else, Mama? The Guitons. Let's keep them in prayer. Uh, Thiddo should die then. Let's keep the Echoes and Let's keep, listen, let's keep all of our loved ones, those that we're concerned about, let's keep them lifted before the throne of God. Okay, mama, uh, so this is what I thought I'd do today. I thought I'd go and uh, get the uh, He Lives or something. So we make sure, 
so we make sure this uh, music don't get lost. Can we go back to uh, singing through the pandemic? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. All right. Good to see you, Gene. Let's go back to uh, the singing through the pandemic, and uh, let's wake up this track, man. It's, it's called He Lives. I think I remember the song. Thank you, Josh Mao. Thank you. You and the crew. God sent his son. Y'all clap your hands. And they called him Jesus. He came to say, mm, heal and forgive. Y'all come on, clap your hands. He bled and suffered. Mama said he will find our freedom. I can truly say, Lord, I'm better. Call thee Leo. church in your living room wherever you are clap your hands he bled and suffered mama said he was bad find our freedom I can truly say Lord I'm better because he lived everybody come on lift your voice and help me sing tonight because he lives, I can face the mob with God Almighty. Where you at? Because he lives, all fear, all fear is gone. I want somebody here to know tonight. I know. Oh, my future I'm feeling a little better, y'all Like the old world Living just Because he lived Mama, thank you for teaching me this song Everybody all over the world Help me sing Because he lived Come on, put your hands together Help me sing tonight And at least tomorrow Y'all, I'm not worried about it because he will. Hey, Can you lift your voice and help me say, God knows I know. God, I know who holds my future. Life is Lift your voice and tell yourself Life Life is worth living You are not alone You're not by yourself Hang on in there Life Life is worth living He He lives He lives He lives Jesus lives Tell the dying well I said tell them that Jesus will Somebody may want to know Tim, how do you know he will Well, he got him in my walk Well, he got him in my talk Made my life brand new well, I tell them You tell them You tell them you tell him, please tell him, please tell him, he touched my mind one more. Woo! Come on, clap your hands if you love him tonight, dog. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah.
Somebody shout, I can face tomorrow. Because. Man, I'm feeling a little Tim Rogers and the fellas tonight. Mama, let's go to help me to hold out. I think I remember that song too. Come on, somebody. Y'all make me a big choir and help me sing this. Lord, I need you too. Whoa, come on, clap your hands. My change cone. Come on. Everybody all over the building, clap your hands and shake them tambourines. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need Lord, I need Here I stand. Hold my hand until my change comes. Somebody in this room, they need him tonight. Yeah, lift your voice one more time. Come on, Dolly. That's what I tell you. That's what I tell the master. Lord, I need you until thank you my chains come oh yeah oh lord i got to go listen mm -hmm. sometimes i'm up all night wondering how i'm gonna win this fight gotta keep pressing my way and hoping for a better day. Y'all and Bell here. Sometimes my way get hard and then other times it just get dark. I'm gonna keep holding on till you see me through. I need somebody to help me tonight. Tell me. God Almighty, until the end, my chains go through. Lord, I'm need. Lord, have mercy. I got one more verse. I think I remember that verse too. Come on, clap your hands one more time. Sometimes I'm up all night. God knows I'm not feeling right. <laughs> I'm looking for your joy and your peace. I can't find it nowhere in sight. Filling myself up with you, Lord. Ooh, somehow it's causing me to go through. But I'm gonna keep holding on until my dying day. master y'all ain't gonna lie i feel like a church boy tonight come on clap your hands somebody tell jesus tell the master somebody tell him lord i really need you sometime i wait sing dark and dim trust you for as long as I live sometime my way sing dark at night Lord I just believe you gonna make everything alright ah, Jesus somebody tell the master tonight y'all Oh, Lord, 
have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. Oh, God, I'm on. Lord, have mercy. Well, <laughs> hallelujah. Help them to hold out. Help them to hold out. Until. Thank you, James Cleaver. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, I'm going to attempt to do an uh, uh, up tempo one, uh, Mama, we in church. I just feel Tim and the fellas tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let's try, Mama. Come on, you gotta clap your hands like we at church. Man, y'all gotta clap your hands. I'm talking about like y'all some know something about this country church, Tony. Woo! I 
said, the Lord been good to me. I said, the Lord been good to me. Somebody help me praise his name. Somebody help me praise his name. Yep. Praise. Praise him. No other God. No other name. No other name but the name of the Lord. Hallelujah! Lift him up. I feel like I'm a little boy in church tonight. This feels like church the way I used to know it. Yeah. For how you talk to me, Lord, you kept me, and you never, never, ever, ever left me. Carol oh! Sanders, I see you. You ought to have church on your couch wherever you are tonight. What? It'll make you feel better. Tim Rogers and the fellas. I love to praise it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mama say he's worthy. Ooh, mama. I'm gonna attempt to do one tonight. Hallelujah. I want to do this one for all the grateful folk. Marguerite, can I do one for the grateful folk? Father, I stretch my hand to thee. If it had not been I don't know where I would be Thank you I just need you to think a minute You ain't got to say too much Just lift your hands at that think a minute Every morning Getting out of my bed People down everywhere, but I'm still here. Listen, I called my mother and she said hello. Dad had been gone a long time, but I think you mama's still alive. People sick all But we good, you've been good. 
Somebody might still be in the kitchen. Still blessing God. You may still be in the kitchen blessing God. Go ahead. I just wanted to remind it. Remind it. Come on. You may be in the restroom. You may be on the you may be on the line at work. Go on and get it out. He been real good, good. I'm through, y'all. You been. This is your time right here, Marguerite. We all a blessing. If you know God's been good to you, you know it wasn't your mother. You know it wasn't your father. You know it wasn't your sister. No way it could have been your brother. Nobody, nobody but Jesus. Oh, lift your head, right? Kept me in my right mind. Yo, excuse me. I said I wasn't gonna scream at y'all tonight. You've been good. Sing it from your soul. You've been good. You ought to tell them for yourself. I may not be where I ought to be. May not have all that I want. But you're good. But you're good. But 
Hallelujah. Ooh, y'all, I didn't mean to scream at y'all tonight. I, I promise. Ooh, mama, ain't he good? some of the ones who did. Can we give God a praise tonight? God is worthy. Come close tonight. Come close tonight. Woo. Come close tonight. Can all of us, just for a few minutes, just lift your hands. It's prayer time. And I don't want to stay there long. Because since we know who we are, we don't have to sit around begging God. You, for 60 whole seconds, in your own little way, bless the God of your salvation. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Your spirit that rests, rule, and abide among us and in us. We thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all that you are. Thank you for life. Thank you for life abundantly. Thank you for your son, Jesus. perfect example thank you for your strength and your power your spirit Lord I lift all of my brothers and sisters up to you now you know where they are You know exactly where they are. You know what they need. You know who they need. Thank you for answering the cry of your people. Thank you. God, I ask that you cover us even in times like these. Sickness everywhere. 
bad news everywhere. Death and sickness everywhere. Heal our land. As we turn from our wicked ways, heal our land. Heal our land as we turn back to you. Heal our land. Thank you for my mother. Thank you for my sister, my brother, my friends, and even my foes. I thank you tonight. Thank you for all of these who have thought it not robbery to pick up a device and stream to McHaney tonight. We thank you. Touch them wherever they are. Protect them on every front. Show them the benefits of hanging with the true God. We thank you now. Thank you for your church. Fix us. Raise us from our grave. Renewing us a right spirit. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as we share in your word tonight, make your presence known among us. We all will be careful and committed to give you the praise. We thank you and we love you and we praise you now and forever. Everybody screamed, Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. If you love him. Hallelujah. Now, Mama, I want to go. I pray that y'all have come to stay tonight. I want to attempt something, uh, something of which I might not be able to pull off. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama, how you feeling tonight? Um, tonight, 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 I want to talk about, well, I don't even know how long we've been here. That's something I'm going to have to find out tonight. I have to find out how long we've been on the Ten Commandments. We've been here some time and the year is almost out and we're still not through. We had two more, but we're going to smash them together, G, if y'all don't mind, so we can get to some other conversations. Um, um, tonight, 
I think I want to take a little turn, Mama. We talk about the ninth commandment. Yeah, Exodus 20. And uh, verse 16, is it? I don't know. I may be on. Am I right? Verse number 16. So, Marguerite, you got to fly the scripture up there for us. Exodus 20. Exodus 20 and 16. Right. We just left the ninth commandment. Thou shall not, st or the eighth commandment, thou shall not steal. Tonight, I'm going to say, I want to take off and let's do the ninth commandment and try to squeeze in the tenth. And then if we don't finish tonight, we got to at least take one more week before we jump into the Jesus conversation. But tonight we're going to attempt. Tonight we may have to give it one more week. I don't know. Um, Exodus 20 and 16, it says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Tonight, let me see if I can get in my notes here. I took a few notes since we uh, putting a lot of stuff together. Thank you so much, Norma. Thank you so much. Thank you. Exodus 20. And 16 says, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Remember, I told you, mama, God did not give the children of Israel these commandments to get them to heaven. But he gave them this recipe to get heaven to them. Our Jesus in case you say, well, Jesus died to deliver us from the law, Pastor Tim. I keep trying to tell you, Pastor Tim, Jesus died for that, bro. I told you. <laughs> well, I also want to tell you what Jesus said. He said he did not come to abolish the law. That's what he said. He came to fulfill it. Fulfill it, fulfill it, fulfill it. And in that same passage, he says, if you teach one to disobey one of these commandments, he says you will be considered the least in the kingdom. That's what he said. The least. The least in the kingdom. I think I'm all right now, mama. All right now. He says, but if you teach men to observe these things, uh -huh. he says you will be considered the greatest That's what he said. The greatest. in the kingdom. But notice we live in a world, Daniel, where that's backwards. All right now. Because in the world we live in, you're the greatest when you tell people about grace and mercy and how Jesus delivered you from it. That's who got the flop. Milo. <laughs> Milo. You tell people to observe these things in our world, you become the least. Okay. All right. When you teach people to observe God, to, to practice God. Okay. Okay. You are considered the least in our world. Okay. My Lord. But if you teach people that God has delivered you from this and Jesus died from it, in our world, you are the greatest. My Lord, that's what they teach. Yes, sir. 
who we're looking for. Somebody who will excuse us for our madness. Can I keep talking? Keep talking. But Jesus said, Mama, mm -hmm. in his kingdom. All right, in his kingdom. Yes, sir. I want you to listen to this rib. Yes, Lord. Jesus says, in his kingdom, mm -hmm. if you teach men to break mm -hmm. these laws. Or that it's okay to ignore these laws. He says, in his kingdom, you are the least. My God, in the kingdom. My Lord. So if your preacher was in Jesus' kingdom, he wouldn't be as popular as you got him to be. Because in Jesus' kingdom, he would be the least. Your pastor is only popular in this world. My God. In this world. But Jesus says in the world that I'm trying to create, he would be the least. least in the kingdom. My God. What will make him the least? Jesus says if you teach people to ignore these things in my kingdom, you will be considered least. He says, Daniel, but if you teach men to observe and obey these things in my kingdom, yes, sir, yes. you will be the greatest. Great. That's what he said. That's what he said. The greatest. In God's kingdom, which are you? The least or the greatest? Come on, somebody put it in the thread because somebody needs to answer that question. This is good. In God's kingdom, which are you? The least or the greatest? Can I keep preaching? That's for all of the people that say Jesus delivered us from it. He said that he did not come to abolish the law, but he came to fulfill it. He says, and if you teach one to disobey these laws in, in my kingdom, you're going to be the least. I want to be the least. I want to be the greatest. But if you teach men to observe these things and obey them, he says, in my kingdom, you will be the greatest. You see, <laughs> to be the greatest in God's kingdom, in this kingdom, all you got to do is be the least. Hallelujah. To be the greatest in God's kingdom. All right now. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Sound tonight. Sound to be the greatest in God's kingdom, mm -hmm. don't be afraid or don't be surprised when you're considered the least in this kingdom. In this kingdom. My Lord. I think that's how I want to say it. Yes. My Lord. In order to be the greatest in God's kingdom, you got to be willing to risk being the least in this kingdom. And a lot of people don't like being little in this kingdom. So they do what's necessary to be big in this kingdom. We're selling our souls to be popular in this kingdom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on now. Yes, sir. That's the truth now. That's the truth now. All I'm trying to say is if you're going to be popular with God, don't be surprised. My Lord. 
if you're strange with men. All right, all right, all right. That's it. That's it. Milo, help tonight. Lord Jesus. Help tonight. A lot of people have forfeited their walk with God. Uh-huh. Lord, help tonight. Okay. Milo. Thank you, Lord. Trying to please. Men. Yeah, men. Call them people, please. Are y'all still here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People's pleasers, please. People's pleasers. Mm-mm. One word. Hallelujah. One word. One word. Mama, you know what we should do? We should pray that God's kingdom come. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We should pray that God's kingdom come. Not only should we pray that God's kingdom come, but we should pray that his will be done. Will be done. His will or his rule all right. be done in earth as it, is in as it is in heaven. That's right. That's right. That's what the word says. It's another look, right? That's right. Another look. So let's look at it again. Matthew 5 says in the model prayer when you pray, pray our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. He said don't pray to go to the kingdom. He said pray that the kingdom come. Pray that his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now when I read that mama, I saw it from the perspective that I inherited. Okay. Since I thought God lived mm-hmm. beyond the sky. Okay, come on with it. Yes. In a place called heaven. Uh-huh. In a house called the Father's house. <laughs> Now, I'm not making fun of your image. I'm really just giving you the image that I had of God because that was the image that I inherited of God. That's right. When I thought of God, I, think, I thought about God being somewhere beyond the sky in a beautiful city where the weather is always good. And he lives in a big house. And he sits on a throne in that house, and it's a bunch of angels bowing at his feet, singing songs. And it's a bunch of people up there walking on streets of gold. They walking around heaven all day. No, 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 no. So when we said, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, what are we saying? Are we saying there are people in heaven that's doing the will of God? No, 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 no. Another look. Let's try it again. You can keep that interpretation if you would like. I'm no enemy to it. No. I Listen, if it floats your boat, fine. Oh. I just want to put a dirty glass beside a clean one. All right. Now. Then you decide which one you drink from. All right. I like that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> When the scripture says, let your will be done uh-huh. on earth as it is in heaven. Mm-hmm. My love. This is the way my eyes see it now, Ma. All right, now, come on with me. Come on. Heaven has an order. All right. That's good, that's good, have an order. Heaven is in order. Yes, sir. My love. Heaven has a perfect order. My God. My God. A perfect order. You and I. My Lord Jesus. Yep, tonight. Benefit. Okay. Tremendously. My God. Because the heavens has an order. My God. It has an order. Yes, Lord. You and I, Mama. Okay. We're still alive. That's right. That's right. And we are as healthy as we want to be. Okay. Because the heaven is in order. You and I 
breathe and find. All right now. All right. Ain't got to pay nobody to breathe. All right, all right. Just praise it. Oxygen everywhere. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord. Because the heaven yes, sir, is, in is in order. Yes, sir. Is in order. Watch yourself. The scripture says, let your will be done on earth as it is. Heaven has an order that hadn't been broken. Boy, I'm preaching, but y'all backing up. Oh, no. Oh, no. I say heaven has an order that hasn't been broken. Look at you and I. My God. Thank you, Lord. The only reason why the grass is green all right, all right, all right. is because heaven is in order. The only way the cows can eat the grass is because heaven is in order. The only way the trees can grow and bloom and bear fruit because heaven is in order. Well, somebody put it in the thread if you heard what I said. Heaven has an order that hasn't been broken. My Lord has not been broken. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. How you know it hadn't been broken, Tim? My Lord. We still sitting here, ain't we? Oh, hey, 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 hey. I can say, ain't we, can't we? My Lord. Can I say, ain't we? <laughs> preach, honey. preach, preach, preach. Y'all already know I'm lazy at the mouth, yes, right? Yes, Lord. That's all right. If heaven gets out of order my Lord. for a few seconds, All right. my Lord. you and I, my Lord, my Lord, look at God, look at God, help tonight, would expire immediately. All right, all right, all right. Yes, sir. My Lord, my Lord. Look at the sun. Scientists say it's been burning uh -huh. over four billion years. My, 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 my. The sun. Yes, sir. Lord Jesus. <clears throat> Lord Jesus. God caused it to shine. My, 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 my. Yes, Lord. God created the big, that's all the sun is. It's just the big ball of fire. Yes. Notice there's no two suns. There's no three suns. No, there's one that all of the planets revolve around. My, 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 my. This one sun gives light and it gives life. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Lord Jesus. All of these that revolve around it. My, my, my. Lord Jesus. It has an order. According to science, it's been all and it's, it's been in order for over four billion years. All right now, all right. Sun rise in the east and set in the west. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Come on. With Heaven you. has an order, and God doesn't have to go back ever so often to recalibrate the sun because uh, something has happened to it. God don't need a repair man to fix nothing in heaven because when He created it. Well, I'm preaching, but you back. God doesn't have to recalibrate the sun. The reason why is because a perfect God hung it. And since a perfect God hung the sun, He ain't got to go back and recalibrate. No, He don't. Yes, Lord. My God, my God. The sun has been serving its purpose. My God. Every time you bite an apple, you ought to say, thank God for the sun. Well, I wish I had some hip in here. Every time you eat an eight ounce ribeye, talk to me somebody. Y'all ain't said nothing. You ought to say, thank God for the sun. Every time you eat your bowl of rice, y'all ain't said nothing. You ought to say, thank God for the sun. 
Every time you chew on some potatoes, y'all ain't setting nothing. Every time you find yourself eating some black eyed peas, you ought to look up and say, Thank God for the sun. When you think about the clothes that's on your back, it came from the cotton that's in the field. When you think of, y'all ain't said nothing. When you think of your underwear, when you think of your clothes, you ought to say, thank God for the sun. Why am I saying thank God for the sun, Pastor Tim? It is because you have what you have because heaven is in order. You are alive today. You have what you have right now because heaven is in order. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Break the night. Break the night. Break the night. Break the night. Yes, sir. Is in order. Is in order. Is in order. Is in order. Yes, sir. Is in order. Thank you, Lord. Well, somebody just holler, heaven is in order. God don't have to tell the planet, get back where you're supposed to be. My God, my God. Heaven! Yes, what? Earth, Pluto, Mars, Venus, talk to me somebody. All of those planets have been rolling around the sun and they ain't had a wreck yet. Because heaven is in order. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Praise the night, man. Praise, praise, praise. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Every now and then, you ought to just thank God because his creation is in order. What? Look at you. You got a cell phone. <laughs> you can FaceTime. You can Google. How in the world you think you can do all that? You can only do that because heaven is in order. How do you think you can stream to McHaney tonight? You wherever you are, but you on McHaney with us tonight. How do you think that's possible? It's possible because heaven is in order. He says, let your will be done. Yes, it is in heaven. Yes, Lord. Give us this day. Heaven is not out of order. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Earth is only out of order because of the gods that rule it. All right. All right. All right. I said earth is only uh -huh. in the predicament it's in right now. Yes. Not because we, we say often without thinking the world is bad. No, the world is not bad. No, right. right. so one songwriter said that this was a wonderful world. And I must agree with that writer when I think about the handiwork of God. I must say to like Louis Armstrong, this is a wonderful world. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My God, my God. A wonderful world. It's a wonderful world. We complain about the world. The world is bad. Uh -huh, yes, the world is this. My Lord, my but no, it's not the world like it's the people in it. Mama, I don't even know why I'm going here tonight. And just for the record, I'm going to need another week. I'm going to just tell you right now. This is good. I like this. Mama, Earth is only in the predicament that it is in right now because of the gods that run it. One scripture, I forgot where it is, mama, but it says, even the earth groans and it loans and it awaits the sons of God. My God, my God, my God. Whenever you, whenever a world experiences pestilence, my God, thank you, Lord. 
and disasters, that's the earth groaning. That's the earth aching. Don't you know the earth can ache from our habits? What we do to the water, what we do to the sea, what we do to the rivers, talk to me somebody, what we do to the ocean, all that can make the earth grow. The earth gives us pestilence because that's the earth response to our habits. Could COVID-19 be the earth responding to our habits? Could these fires breaking out in divers places, earthquakes everywhere, happenings everywhere? Could this be? My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm saying this, Mama, because the earth yes, Lord. is in order. Yes, Lord. But it is only the gods that run it That's right. that makes it the way it is. That's right. That's right. Look at the trees. God don't have God. Watch this. Watch this, Greg G. God don't need a tree, Bible. No, he don't. No, he don't. No, he don't. No. I'm going to preach to y'all. I don't even know why I'm going here tonight. But there is no such thing in our world as a tree, Bible. My God. The Bible. The trees in your yard don't need a Bible. A tree is going to automatically do what God created it to do. And it's going to reach its full potential. And it don't need a Bible to remind it what it's supposed to do. I'm sorry for screaming at y'all. Ain't no grass Bible. Ain't no dog, Bible. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Don't nobody need the Bible but God's creatures. The ones he made in his image and after his likeness. Now, I'm just trying to figure out how in the world is everything else obeying God but the thing he made in his image and likeness is out of order. How does that work? Trees obey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We enjoy its fruit. That's right. The vines obey. That's right. We enjoy its fruit. Jesus. The field obey. Yes, sir. My Lord. The seed obey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The birds obey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk to me, somebody. Yes, sir. Yes, the waters yes, obey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the only thing that's out of order. Is that creature he made in his image. And seem like God can't get that creature back on his feet. Even with a Bible. Talk to me somebody. We've been having the Bible for the last 1500 years. 2000 years. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Still won't obey. My Lord. Still won't obey. My Lord. We got Bibles and still don't know who we are. We got Bibles and still don't know whose we are. That's right. That's right. That's right, though. Now, Mama, what I wanted to look at tonight, good. I wanted to show us how I ain't nothing out of order down here but the creatures God made in his image. That's right. That's right. We out of order. We out of order. We out of order. And then the Bible teaches you that you are greater than anything he ever made. That's right. But after all, look at it. He made you like him. That's right, that's right. 
so even the, even though the son is magnificent in his own right the son is not greater than you why is the son not greater than you i'm glad you act the son is not greater than you because the son don't have a mind of his own the son has to do what the creator hung it to do and that's all it can do but look at you you i am that i am what? Will you text somebody real quick? I don't know what kind of response you're going to get, but can you text them say, do you know how powerful you are? You ought to text your son. You ought to text your nephew. You ought to text your niece. I don't know where they are, but you ought to ask this question. Do you know how powerful you are? I don't care what you heard. I don't care what they said. I don't care what they tried to do to Maya. I'm really asking, do you know? Do you know the power yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, that you, have. you possess? That's right, that's right, my God. Do you know it? Do you know it? Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, you ought to text one of your church members yes, that's Lord. depressed. That's right, you ought to text them. Do you know how powerful you are? That's right. You ought to text that person who you know having a pity party. They're walking around wondering who going to help them, who going to do this, who going to do that, who going to... Can you text them right now and ask them, do you know how powerful you are? My God, my God. Do you know it? Do you know it? Yes, I do. 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 Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, Mama. One writer, Greg G, said, my what is man? My Lord, yes, sir. My Lord, yes, my Lord. yes sir. That you're mindful of him. That's what he said. That's what he said. You made him a little lower than yourself. That's right. That's right. Whatever you are in the heavens, you made him in the earth. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And now the world yes. is in the shape that it is in because we've not been good gods. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yes, Lord. That's right. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, we've not been good gods. Yes, Lord. Yes, we've been made in his image, yes. but he's not our choice. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We've been made to be like him, but he is not our choice. Lord. Well, I don't know. It's good. It's good. It's good. I want. I guess I just wanted you to know who you were. That's right. And I guess we got to continue to talk Malo. some more Malo. about Malo. who we are and whose we are. That's right. That's now let me get to the Malo. mama, this, the ninth this, commandment. This good. This good. The ninth commandment says, "Mama, thou." <laughs> Shall not to God be all the glory. Yes, Lord. Bear false witness. It says, Thou shall not lie. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's false. All by itself. <laughs> Lord, help us, God. Now, Mama Faye, I want to look at this. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to look at this. My Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Help us, God. Help us, God. Help us, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Help us, God. Help us, God. Thou shalt not lie. That's what he said. My Lord. Now, before we sit around and talk about uh -huh. the petty lion. My Lord. Yes. yes, Lord. I don't want to talk about the petty lion just like I didn't want to immediately talk about the petty thieving. Okay, okay. Lord Jesus. Daniel, I want to 
you know, just like Jesus pointed Satan, mm -hmm. or Jesus pointed at a thief in John 10. Uh -huh. But not only does Jesus talk about a thief, but Jesus understands Satan to be a liar. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And I want to say this to all of us. My Lord. To all of us. You have not been lied on like you've been lied to. All right. 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 Somebody put it in the thread. Put it in the thread. Have you heard what I said? You have not been lied on like you've been lied to. That's right. And normally when you talk about thou shalt not lie, we want to talk about the people who lie on us. But I don't want to talk about the people who lied on us tonight like I want to talk about the people who lied to us. Well, somebody holler, we've been lied to. We've been lied to. Been lied to too much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Most mama. Take your time with it. Yes, sir. Most mothers are so stuck uh -huh. on what they believe. That's right. That's why I can't take this for granted. All right, now. Some folk may have thought that you and I planned this. My Lord. No, 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 no. No. Somebody probably thought we sat down and mm -mm. got a pad and said we're going to do Bible, this no. Bible study together. No. No. Well, somebody just holler, it just happened. It just happened. It just happened. Yes, Lord. It just happened. But I cannot take My what Lord. just happened for granted. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because there's a lot of. Young brothers like myself. All right, all right, all right. Yes, Lord. Who know better. That's right. That's right. They understand better. That's right, my Lord. They've read better. Yes, sir, yes, sir. They've heard better. Yes, sir, Lord. Help the night, Jesus. Help the night. Yes, but what they know has separated them from their own flesh and blood. Yes, now mothers all over the world, they'll talk to everybody but their own children because they feel like Michael didn't win a straight. Because he won't listen to what you taught him in Sunday school. My God, my God, my God, my God, thank you Lord. And everybody's wondering uh -huh. what the family going to say about Chico because he's a Muslim now. Uh -huh. There's a lot of my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Young folk want to talk to their elder, elders. Uh-huh. They want to talk to their elders. Uh-huh. But the elders are won't talk to them. That's right. On the defense. That's right. Now that's the truth. Because they don't want nobody to question what we heard. Ah! They don't want nobody to question what they made themselves believe. My God. My God, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Most of the stuff, mama, that we inherited, that's the only thing we can do. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Believe. That's right. That's right. But the scripture says, in all thy getting. Get an understanding. It didn't say, don't, it didn't say believe. No, it didn't. It said, get it said no. Know it. Get an understanding. understanding. That's right. Thank you, Lord. No. Can I keep talking? Yes, sir. Mama, I can't take this for granted. That's right. My Lord. Thank you. This Lord. wasn't supposed to be. My Lord. Thank Remember, you. when it all went down, they was telling you, don't yes. listen to him. They did. They said. They said, Pastor. He a Muslim. That's what they said. They said. He reading from another Bible. That's what they said. That's right. Lord, forgive him. Oh, yes. Yes, forgive them, God. I want to raise this up, mama, because my Lord, my Lord. there's a lot of young folk that want to ha have conversations. All right. Yes, 
right. about what it is that y'all whipped us about believing. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got whipping. That's right. I had to remember. That's right. I had to know him. That's right. That's right. Now you tell me, Bruce. Yes, you said it. Tell it. Mama, we have not been lied on like we've been lied to. That's right. Tell it, too. A lot of times we be talking about what people lied. We be talking about people lied on us, but. The truth of the matter is, most of what people saying is really not a lie. <laughs> it's just your business. That's right, Pastor. Oh, man, I'm preaching. I said, I'm preaching. I said, most of what people know about you, a lot of that stuff is not a lie. It's just your business. That's right, Pastor. That's right, your business. That's right. That's the truth, Pastor. No, everybody ain't lying on you, sis. They just telling your business. <laughs> telling your business. You know what this is good. This is good. You right. <laughs> my God, my God. So I don't want to talk about, my Lord. and I can't talk about that long either. Yes. I don't want to talk about who lied on us. Like, <laughs> who lied to us? <laughs> Lord Jesus, help them tonight. Mama, yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. First of all, I want us to know that God is true. That's right. That's right. God is true. He's true. Yes, Lord. God is a God. Put it in the thread. Uh -huh. God is the God of truth. A God of truth. That's right. That's right now. A God of truth. A God of truth. God is a God uh, of, truth. of truth. Yes, Lord. My Lord. One of his attributes okay. is that he is the truth. The true God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The true God. One of Jesus' attributes in John 14, he says, I am the way and the truth and the life. I am the truth. And the life. Yes, life. The life. God is true. That's right. It's the true, true. His word is true. Is true. That's right now. His word. Are oh, y'all listening? Yes, sir. Uh, Margaret, if you don't mind, give me John 14, 16. I want you to make sure these people see it too. Get it up there. John 14, 16. Lord, I'm getting ready to go, y'all. If you can't, can't write it now, look, uh, get on his page. That's what I do, and write it down for me. John 14, 16. Come on. I got to get these people away from here, My Margaret. Lord. My Lord. Lord, help us tonight. Help us tonight, God. John 16, or uh, John 14, and 16, Margaret. John, 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 Margaret. The Gospel of John. Yeah. 14, 16. I hope I'm right, too. I've been writing notes, and <laughs> I hope I saw it right. <laughs> yes, sir. Did I tell you was it right or not? Yeah. 14, 16. Uh-huh. Margaret, you got it up there? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm finna get there, y'all. Y'all just bear with me. Mm -hmm. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. It is in my Bible. I got it. You got it, Ma? Mm -hmm. I got so much stuff in my Bible, Ma. Mm -hmm. it just, I got you. It's just, it's just yeah, these people write so much stuff in these Bibles. My Lord. Okay, 14 and 16. Are y'all enjoying this out there? Yeah. 
Let's read verse number 15, Mom. Okay. John 14, 15 says, If ye love me, Obey my keep my commandments. Uh -huh. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. Yes, sir. That he may abide with you forever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Verse 17 says, even the what? Holy Spirit. Even the spirit mm -hmm. of truth. Yeah. Verse 17 says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Yeah. Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. That's what it says here. Somebody holler, truth. True. Go over to 17, 17, John. John 17. Just go John 17. over two more chapters. Oh, this good, John. Just real quick, I can't stay here long. My Lord. Is this going to be it, Lord? Let's get John 17, 17. That's right. Yes, yeah, 17, 17, mm -hmm. Margaret. 17. I'm getting ready to go. Take it it's almost 9.30. Am I doing okay with time, too? Oh, it's good. You know, gee, I want to look at this because mm -hmm. this is Jesus and truth. Uh -huh. This is a prayer in John chapter 17. Jesus is praying before he dies. Milo. Before he's murdered. Milo. You know, out of all the things that Jesus could have asked God mm -hmm. for as it relates to sanctifying his people. Milo, Milo. Oh. Jesus could have asked God for a lot of things to mm -hmm. signify separation. Now, we're sanctified by denominations. All right. All right. We're sanctified by outfits. My Lord. <laughs> say that. Say that. Yes, Lord. We're sanctified by color. That's right. We're sanctified by class. No, no. There's a lot of things that separate us. All right. But in John 17, 17, all of those that were following Jesus, he prayed to his father, Lord, sanctify those you've given me. That's what he said. That's what he said. How do you want them? How will men tell them apart? Jesus says, sanctify them through thy truth. truth. That's what he said. That's what he said here. So Jesus says, all of those that belong to me, I want you to sanctify them by your word. That's what he said here. Yes, sir, by your word. If Jesus is going to, if God is going to sanctify one by word, then that means God is going to sanctify a people by what they know. My God. So Jesus says, the ones you've given me, you ain't got to sanctify them by outfit denominations and all of that kind of stuff. <laughs> I want people to tell them apart by what they know. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sanctify them by your Word. truth. Your word is truth. That's what he said. So Jesus says, everybody that's with me, I want them to be known 
for what they know. We're not known for what we know. We're known for what we believe. And if you but if you're around here talking about what you believe, that's that may be okay in some cases, but that's cheap knowledge. My, my, my. If you're having to believe something, that's borrowed understanding. My God, my God, my God. My I told you a couple of weeks ago, in order to believe it, all you gotta do is hear it. That's right. That's right. In order to know it, you gotta give your mind to it. That's we're not known because of what we know. We're known by what we believe. My God, my God, my God, my God. Jesus said, all of those you give to me, God, I want you to sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. For I want people to know them by what they know. A lot of folk are known for what they got. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right now. That's right. Most folk are known for what they build and what uh -huh. they've accumulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jesus says, those that are following me, I want them to be separated by your truth. Your truth. Your truth. Yes, sir. Your truth. Through your truth. That word is truth. My Lord. Milo. We're known for what we believe. Milo. But Jesus says, I want you to sanctify those that you've given me by what they know. Milo. Your word is true. Your word is true. That's what he said. Yes, Lord. Jesus says in John 8, 44, that Satan is the father uh -huh. of lies. That's, what he said. That's right. Thou shalt not lie. Uh -huh. You've not been lied on. But you've been lied to. <laughs> like you've been lied to. That's right. I wanted to go to those few scriptures because I want you to see that God is a God uh -huh. of truth. Uh -huh. Lord Jesus. And I'm going to leave here because I want to talk about it just a little bit more. And next week, we'll, I guess we'll go into it. Thou shalt not covet. Uh -huh. <laughs> a lot of preachers. Yes, Lord. A lot of us preachers. Say it like that, Pastor. We call. I like that. I like that. We call truth mm -hmm. your reality. Okay, okay. I'm closing here, Mama. I found okay. where I want to exit off. Okay. Most of us preachers, mm -hmm. we know nothing about truth. We just know what's true. Uh-huh. I like the way you got that. I like the way you got it. And what's true is not always truth. All right. All right. But God didn't call us to always preach or just preach what's true. We got to preach the truth behind what's true. All right. All right. What's behind the truth? My Lord, behind the truth. David slept with Bathsheba. That's not the truth. That's just true. <laughs> According to the soap opera. All right. The soap opera. What are you trying to say to me, Pastor Tim? I'm trying to tell you my reality is true, uh -huh. but it's not necessarily the truth. The truth. Uh -huh. Okay. I got you. I got you. Lord Jesus. I hope I'm being clear tonight. You are. You are. Yeah. Your reality is a fact. Okay. All right. But just because it's a fact don't mean it's the truth. My God. Don't mean it's the truth. And your fact is probably the fact because you don't know the truth. My, 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 my. What are you telling me, Pastor Tim? It's a fact that you broke. My God. It's a fact that 
you see. It's a fact that your world has gone bad. It's a fact that your family is dysfunctional. It's a fact that you're living from paycheck to paycheck. It's a fact that you borrowing from Peter to pay Paul. It's a fact that everybody hates you. But the only thing that's going to correct your fact uh -huh. is the truth. Is the truth. Is the truth. <laughs> because your facts is your reality. Okay. My God. But your reality is only your reality because you don't know the truth. My God, my God. So tonight we don't want to talk about what we know about you. We want to talk about the truth. And the truth is you're supposed to be the head and not the tail. The truth is you're supposed to always be above and not beneath. The truth is you're supposed to be the lender and not the borrower. That's the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. But what's the fact? Mom, what the fact? What is the fact? Yes, sir. What is the fact? My Lord. The fact is, you know God and ain't got nothing to show for it. The fact is that you sit around and wait on a mystery God to do for you what he's calling you to do for yourself. That's the fact. Somebody all a shout, I'm tired of looking at what's true. I need the truth because that's the only thing that's going to change what I see right now. That's why Jesus says, and you shall know the truth. Come on, somebody holler, give it to me straight. Come on, somebody holler, give it to me with no chaser. Give me the truth. how bad it looks tell me how silly I look talk to me tell me the truth tell me how much a fool I've been please tell me most time the truth hurts it bruises your ego but it's the only thing that's going to change your reality. All right, 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 yes, Lord, thank you, Lord, only thing going to change, yes, Lord, my Lord, truth, truth. works, yes, sir, it does, yes, sir, yes, sir, it'll work, my, 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 my. Thank you, Lord. Look at you yes. quoting all these scriptures and still coughing. <laughs> oh, it ain't a sin to cough. I'm just trying to show you how you got your mind wrapped around a lot of stuff. But I want you to know the word works. That's right. But the only way the word works, it has to be the word of truth. True. That's right, that's right, that's right. The word of truth. Not something you done found over here and it sounds like it fits your situation. No, 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 no. <laughs> the truth. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, the truth. Amen. Amen. <laughs> For a long time, we've denied the truth. Show up, show up, show up, Lord Jesus. I'm through, Mama. Your honey, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Pastor Rogers, God, your old ears like, like the way you address that, my Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. With your mind, you create your life. That's right. 
speak your mind. That's right. That's right. I read about the mind too bad. Well, somebody put it in the three answer. With your thoughts, you create your life. Now you tell the truth. My Lord, my Lord. Yeah, you telling the truth. Yeah, you telling the truth. God, and you know, my teacher said words are thoughts expressed. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You only say it if you think it. My Lord, that's right. And that when you go to talking, nobody has to guess what's on your mind because your words are your expression right. of your mind. That's right. <laughs> oh, this is so you think. So we Yes, Lord. The reason why I wanted to say that, Mama, is because a lot of words that's been put into us, uh -huh. Lord Jesus. they're not words of truth. My God. They are thing philosophies. My Lord. My Lord. And that's why we got to spend time, Mama, yeah. going through all of this, sifting through it all, taking our time, my no rush That's right. because the job has already been done on us if we're going to be delivered from this we got to take our time That's right. and unlearn the lies The lies are dear to us because grandmama died believing it. My Lord. That's right, you say, I can't stop believing it. My, my grandma, my granny taught us. He, yeah. She died believing it. That's right. If she could come back, she'd tell you. <laughs> oh, she tell the truth, baby. She'd tell you, you don't know how strong, you don't know how, you don't know how wide, you don't know how Powerful you are. That's right. That's right, cause he's your game. Hey, hey. We live as midgets and we were born giants. My yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We call misinterpretations of the scriptures true. Preacher, you only call that true because it's what you heard. Yeah. No, Pastor Tim, I saw it in the Bible too. Well, I know you saw it in the Bible, but you got a naked eye view. All right now. No, it, it's right here in the Word. Yeah. You go here, it, it, it's right here in my Bible. That's a naked eye view. The reason why the church is messed up today is because we're affected by the naked eye view. What's the naked eye view, Pastor Tim? That's when you open up the Bible and just read the word. But don't have a clue as to what these words mean. The only reason why everybody got a daddy but Jesus is because you got a naked eye view. The only reason why we make these parables, we notice what we do to Jesus' tales, stories. We make his stories real. And then somebody have to remind us, you know that ain't real. He was just telling a story. It's a parable. You only literalize a tale because you got a naked eye view. Mama, if I look at this Bible with the naked eye, all I'll see is words. That's right, that's right, that's right. But if I look at this with my right eye, yeah. with my spiritual eye, I won't just see words, but I'll see God. Mama, I'm through.
preacher, preacher, what I'm asking you to do on your downtime. Preacher, on, on your downtime, I dare you to just ask some questions about what they told us. Mama, we got to talk about this a little bit uh -huh. longer. Thank you so much. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Got to talk about this probably one more week. Um, yes, God. That's good, honey. That's good. That's good. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Understand it. Truth is what we need. Yes, Lord. That's what we need. I want you to know, man, there's a lot of things that we could talk about. But we can't talk about nothing right now, mama, until we correct your vain philosophy. All right now, all right. The reason why we got to correct your philosophy because you create your world by your thoughts. Oh, that's right. That's right. And your philosophy is your way of thinking. All right. So I, I got I gotta make sure that everything that I put in this brain station of mine is the truth. Put your hands together for Jesus. Did y'all enjoy that tonight? Forgive me, I got lost in doing something. And uh, I didn't get to where I thought I was going to get to tonight. And I don't want to hold y'all long tonight. And, uh, man, look at these people talking about truth. Next week, I want to talk about the difference between your reality and truth. Everybody claim they living in their truth. But your reality is not the truth. Your reality may be true, but it's not the truth. And mama, we live in a world where everybody just want to live in their truth. But it's time for us to live in God's truth. Jesus says, for your word is true. And since you're going to sanctify those who belong to me, I want you to sanctify them by your truth. How many want to be sanctified by what, by what you know? One more time. How many want to be sanctified by what you know? I mean, it can testify, I may not have it, but I know how to get it. All right, I may not have it. Oh, man, I'm preaching. I say, I may not possess it, but I know how to get it. I often ask God, God, why did you give me all of this? in this condition normally when people talk like this Greg G they got 
They got something to show for it. They're known by what they have. I don't envy that. I just want you to know what I don't have, not because I can't get it. Since I've been set free here, since I was blind and now I can see, heaven is the limit to what I can have. Take your time. I'm talking to you, brother, sister. Learn how to be content. That's right. That's it. In whatever state you're in. Whatever. That's what Paul said. That's what Paul said. One more time, man. Y'all got to put your hands in Thank y'all so much. Mama, you have anything to add to? Hallelujah. Let everybody say praise the Lord. Tell him thank you. Thank you for the word. Hallelujah. And thank you for the truth. God bless you. Hallelujah. Can y'all give mama some love tonight? Now listen, I'm going. Uh, listen. I'm going. The preacher Paul says, if the man of God has blessed you, Concerning spiritual things, That's what he said. you ought to respond That's right. with your carnal things. That's what the word said. If you believe in advancing the kingdom of God, yes. if you believe in supporting yes, Lord. the move of God, yes. I want you to pull that iPad up and that phone out and participate yes, Lord. in the ministry of giving and help us yes, Lord. to take this as far as we possibly can. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All over yes, this land and yes, country. Lord. I want you to be a blessing tonight. Uh, those of you that are in the sanctuary, I want y'all to be a real blessing tonight. You're not going to be the same. Mama, when I walked through the door, Mama Rogers blessed me. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I mean, I'm getting blessings from everywhere, and I thank you so much. Mama, thank you so much for being in Bible study tonight. Mary Davis, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank y'all so much. Thank you so much for helping us. Linda Davis, thank you. I receive your gift. Thank you. Hold to his hand. Come on, y'all clap your hand. God's unchaining hand. Rhonda, thank you. Rhonda, thank you. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. Thank you for every giver. I pray that you bless everything they touch. In the name of Jesus. Ask now that you cover their home, their children, their family. Touch them in every way. In the name of Jesus because of their response to your word tonight. We thank you and we give you praise. Thank you for every giver. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, ho! Thank you so much. Everybody on the home to his hand. Thank you. Thank you. Be a blessing. Nothing is too small. Nothing is too big. Give as God placed in your soul. Hallelujah.
Listen. Time is filled with swift transition. Betty, thank you so much. Mama Howard, thank you so much. Mama Faye, God bless you. Greg G, thank you so much for being in session tonight. Darlene, Ann Bell. Miss Rogers, I love you, sweet. Master Boss, God bless you. Thank you so much. Mama Nancy. Whoa! Time is filled with swift transition. None on earth unmoved to stand. God bless you now. Build no hope on pain deep. God bless y'all. Y'all been a wonderful crowd tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Doris. Thank you so much, Audrey Bridges. Thank y'all so much for being a part of the live tonight. Thank you. Curtis, thank you. I pray I didn't hold y'all too long. Man, it's 20 minutes to 10. Y'all forgive me. Crystal, thank you. Be a blessing tonight. Be a blessing tonight. And watch it come back to you. It's better to give than to receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Giving means that it's coming back. And if you believe in the law of giving, I pray that I pray that you put a seed on what you have experienced tonight. Help to keep us coming. God bless you. Thank you so much, preacher, bishop, evangelist. Thank you, Viola. I'm sorry. Thank you. Dallas, I'll be with you on the 14th, a few more weeks from now. Thank you so much. That's right. Y'all got to meet me in Dallas, December 14th. I have more information for you. Thank you so much. Mama, are you all right tonight? God bless you. Y'all, we're going. Stand to your feet. Thank you, Polandra. I see y'all, man. Lord, thank you for every giver. We thank you tonight. Thank you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Bless all of their efforts. Do it even now. Some of you are giving tonight. Some of you are giving tomorrow. Some of you give Thursday or Friday. Whatever you give, I want to say now, thank you for supporting SAG Live. Thank you so much. Keep us in prayer. We'll do likewise for you. God, we're going down from this place. Keep us until you meet again, till we meet again. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. And we pray. Everybody said amen. Go in peace. Sin no more. Hope somebody tell you love them. God bless you. Until next time, you that are in the cyber sanctuary, good night. God bless you. You've been wonderful.